It's a, it's a great topic, really, and I'll just paraphrase uh, for the audience. But yeah, um, a friend here is, uh, is a, an attorney, and he's saying you know the difference between seeking status versus seeking wealth. That some people are so they're so you know, status uh, uh, you know kind of power or status obsessed that um, they probably have less freedom they would if they were just than they would if they were just seeking wealth. That you know you, the wealth would do more for you than than so-called status. And uh, that you know, I, I never wanted to. I don't have any desire to be famous, or I don't like most people. I say that publicly everywhere. I really don't like most people. I, I pay money to not be around most people. So you know, then when 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 a random stranger pays me either a compliment or an insult, it really it doesn't change my mood a bit. It really doesn't affect me at all. That like, if it's not someone that I would generally respect or you know appreciate that person or who they are. Then why would why would you value their opinion? They don't even you know a, a person who is substantially unlike you you know a person who you know, doesn't have similar values or similar work ethic ex education etc. It's like they're not even in a position to make a fair assessment, good or bad. They don't even have enough information to make a fair assessment about who you are. So I'm not, I'm not saying that to be snotty at all. I'm saying quite objectively is that like you know the. The, the, the same way that I, I, I hope that nobody here is, uh, you know, if a bum said mean words to you, I um, imagine you wouldn't think much of it at all. You just, you know, perhaps have a chuckle and carry on with your life. And if it was really, if it was a, if it was a unique mean word, you know, perhaps you'd share it with a friend and have another chuckle together later. But you know, then just forget about it and get on with your life, you know. But um, no, I, I think I think there's a real illness that some people are so excited about, like the being adored by strangers and fools. You know, why would you care about a, ran you know, a random person isn't doing shit? And I, I don't care, I couldn't care less what their opinion is. And I, you know, it just seems rational. I'm not saying that to, it's, it just seems rational. Like, do you guys really care what the 50th percentile person thinks of you? I, I would argue you shouldn't. You have very little impact on your life, really. You know? So, uh, no, I, I do value the opinion of people that, that, you know, there's a mutual respect between us and, uh, you know, uh, shared values, shared goals, mutual respect. that. I'm very open-minded to listening to those people and kind of those those micro-detailed nuances of, you know, what what can we do a bit better together, you know? So I'm very open to that, and you know, I, I really value that feedback. It's, it's hard to get negative feedback from high-quality people; they they tend to want to be kind of diplomatic, you know. So it's it's hard to get uh, you know constructive feedback, I'll say, from from some people because uh, they're just not in the habit of doing that. Kind of have to poke it out, you know, pry it out of them a bit. But you know that's extraordinarily valuable when you get that. So um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I always I just wanted when I think about money, I just think about you know well. It's a store. It's a, it's an indicator of your contribution to society for one thing, and you know it's it's also an indicator of your your uh, freedom, your your ability to live your life you know as you'd like to, and, and your ability to you know for better or worse your ability to affect other people's lives. Um, you know, people that you care about, or causes that you care about, or whatever that might be, that you have the ability to impact you know, individuals or causes that, that you'd like to support, or you know, help them uh, not have some of the sufferings that you probably would have to accumulate some wealth. But I, I just think of it like that. It's, you know, it's, I, I, I always feel a bit of disgust when I, when I think of my mother's, uh, you know, oh, I, you know, I, I, I'd, buy, I'd do this or that for us if I could. But never made an effort for decades to actually engage in a behavior that would lead to a positive outcome. It was a lot of nice words, no action. Actually, a lot of mean words from her too. But uh, in that context, nice words, no action. And I'm, I'm sure all of you have a family member or somebody in your life you think of when I say stuff like that. That say, oh, I, I would if I could, but, but. So yeah, how about just give it a the but? And like, if, if you want it, if it was important to you, you just go do it. You know, if it's important to you, you just go do what's necessary to. You know, have the type of outcomes or have the sort of lifestyle that you wanted. So I don't know. It's uh, I think uh, that that's a bit of a theme of today is um, you know, clarifying those goals, but you know, even more so, stop making excuses to ha to not have an outcome or, and then and then clarity that some people think they just want to be powerful or or popular. Um, I, I'm becoming accidentally popular. But I don't even give a shit about. <laughs> About that, but I, I think there's a breath of fresh air that some people find that uh, they tend to be the best people. There's like, oh, this guy doesn't seem to be full of shit. Like, 
everyone else on the internet. So I, 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 think, that, I think that's the primary driver there, but we'll see. Uh, Jared says, um, where do you meet like-minded business? Where do you meet <laughs> like-minded business people in your city to network and socialize with? Why don't you guys answer that? Where do we meet like-minded, <laughs> like-minded? Excuse me, I keep speaking that. Um, you know, Jared is, is so obvious. It's like, you know, go where the other winners are. I mean, I, I created these programs. I don't give a quarter fuck if you buy my fucking mentoring program or not. It's not going to change my life, bro. But it would change your life. If you're the right type of person, you should join. If you're the right type of person, you should join. Out of sheer selfishness, if you're the right type of person, you should join. I don't care who joins. You know who's going to join? It's, it's going to be the people that, that are going to fit in with this group the best. It's going to be the people that they, they already value education. They already have a great work ethic. You know, they're already doing great, but they know they could do even better. They know they could do even better. They like to have the, the, the leisurely camaraderie that comes with being around other high quality people, like legitimate peers, where you can speak your mind in a, in a, you know, a, free, a free thinking, uncensored way and not be judged for being a, a good thinking human. Uh, if you're that type of person, it's, come. It's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. But you know, I don't want the wrong person to come. And it's, you know, it's extraordinary to me. That's, this is exactly the type of question that, I, that I've been making fun of, the IG type questions. It's like, Derek, where do you meet? I'm in a, group of, I'm in a room with a group of guys that are part of this mastermind group that we all spent extraordinary effort and some money to be a part of. And say, Derek, where do you meet people like that? Say, That's amazing. That's really amazing to me. If you, if you think you belong, join. You know, the, if, if, I'm, I'm baffled by that type of question. If you think you belong, join. If you don't belong, don't expect to meet those people. You're not going to. You're not going to go meet them at random. Go, go cold approach a thousand dudes on the street and see, uh, see who you meet, see the value of that, see how valuable that is. Go talk to a thousand random guys on the street and uh, you know, see, see how that works out for you. So, you know, every smart person pays for access. Like, why did I want to go to University of Chicago instead of just some school, you know? Or, you know why did you guys want to go to top places and you know, go to top schools, be part of top programs, be part of, you know, have high quality employers, et cetera, because um, that's where the good shit is. That's where the good people are. So, you know, I, I've spent a lot of time and a lot of money to put myself in those. I spent over a million dollars on, you know, just academic education plus self help type things of various kinds, you know, um, you know non academic uh, supplemental education, and then travel to go facilitate those relationships and maintain and grow them. I spent way over a million dollars on those things, and it's the best thing I ever did with my life. You know, that's what you do. You know, the, we've already sorted through the people for you. I'm a conduit to get you access to those people because I've already sorted through the people for you at significant financial expense to myself in the short term so I could have this well-curated, high-quality group of people. If you're one of those people that belong in that, join. Put your fucking phone number in here if you're looking live. Or, or DM me your phone number if you're, if you're watching this later. Send me a DM with your phone number. Tell me why you think you belong. You know, I'll send you a link to an application. They're going to screen your ass out if you're a weak punk. If you don't belong, you don't belong. But you know, if you're the right type of person, we'd love to have you. Would you guys mind meeting some more winners in the world? Would you, like, would you mind having more successful friends? We'd be happy to. But you, you guys want more losers? Should I, just say, should I just have anybody that wants to pay join the group? Hell no. <laughs> No. They're paying me to keep the wrong people out. Part of the service they're paying me for is to keep the wrong people away. And they trust that I'm a, enough of a jerk, uh, enough of an asshole that I'll do that. And they're right. <laughs> Moneyberg Mentoring is a general business course of like how to think and what are the fundamentals of business. You know, th this is a program about helping you make better decisions. I'm trying to give you some frameworks for how I'm thinking about things and how it's allowed me to go make more money. Just to say again, it's like, well, you know, you're probably going to die sooner than you'd like. So how much time do you want to spend with the wrong people? This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is a get rich. Anything that I included as a homework assignment is something that's going to benefit your life long term. Derek, what's the one big thing? The one big thing is that you showed up here.
I'm just saying, hey man, you know, you can do a lot better and you're going to.